So today I would like to show you the Tetrix Prime set by Pitsco. So this is the uh, the smaller set of the, the main Tetrix um, range. It has over 300 parts. It can still um, be used with Lego. So that's how I kind of got introduced to uh, Tetrix originally. I was at Kuala Lumpur for the World Robotic Olympics and then a Tetrix stand. I never knew there was some at the time, metal compatible uh, product that was used with Lego. And at the time, Lego Ratney uh, actually owned part of Pitsco, or Pitsco owned part of Lego, I can't remember. But so a lot of the products were uh, designed to work with each other. So you get two booklets. One is the setup for the teachers. So they have to assemble any parts that the kids might struggle for this. 12 plus um, product then you have all the building instructions nice and colorful it's always great to have instructions in your hand so by the looks of it their main bots are a moving one then one with a claw and then a robotic arm you have a remote control So I believe the, the, the set as it on its own is remote control and then you can add your own brain like a Raspberry Pi, an Arduino, an EV3, you know, whatever you want to do. I got uh, given a groove sensor to work with mine as well, which is made by Mind Sensor. So in the box, as I said, it's got over 300 parts. It's got a tray. Um, always like things that come with trays. Uh, Vex do a good job with our IQ range of having trays. And now you have lots and lots of bags. So I believe you have four motors. There's one, two, three, and I think there's another one in there. Uh, two are continuous rotation, so they can be used for driving wheels. And the other two are limited motion, so for, something for like a, a robotic arm that only needs to move a certain amount of degrees, or claw, etc. They're in there. You have golf balls. Actually, they're squidgy. But, come on, what robotics that comes with golf ball type things? Uh, little trays. I guess the idea is there's a game where you put the ball in the, uh, the uh, cup. Sorry, not tray. Another motor. So then you have, we've got some cogs, small cogs. Uh, that looks like the gripper arm with instructions on how to build the gripper. Yep, gripper. I uh, I like sets that come with grippers. Again, a few of the metal sets or other products come with nice grippers and, and they're well made. You can obviously build your own, but they're never as good as something that's actually been designed. Uh, six volt, 1500 milliamp uh, NICAB battery. Notice it's six volt, so the normal Lego system and a few of them will go up to like 7.2 or nine if you're running non-rechargeable batteries. Uh, metal beams, not sure what they're for. Quite thick actually, if you um, can see that the diameter is quite heavy. Some plastic parts, so they're T brackets. More metal rods, that's servo mount. You've got an extension beam connector, I guess that goes inside of two metal beams. Which, for example, so there's metal beams, put them inside of there. You've got Freeway connector, um, bigger cogs, bigger beams, so this is, um, as I said, this is kind of the starter set for setting off with um, Tetrix and then, you know, the you can progress on to uh, bigger uh, sets and stronger models with bigger motors. Um, I got a chance to talk to one of the guys that spend their time building a lot of this stuff, that, and you know, there is a lot of parts you can build from um, wheels, quite sturdy. Uh, you've got Allen key, which is nice because instead of just having a hook, you've actually got kind of something to grip hold of. More beams, more joining bolts, and these are brackets, 60 degree brackets. Uh, that's a screwdriver. What else you got? Mounting brackets, 
connectors. So, you know, you've got a wide range of parts. You've got an instruction book to build several kind of models. And I guess, you know, there'll be a curriculum around using this in a school. This is, you know, designed for schools. This isn't like for um, retail. Ah. Lots and lots of interesting parts. If you have any questions or want to know uh, anything more about the set, please drop me a comment below. Um, I will, of course, next build something out of this and show you what I build and then um, program it or, you know, control it, do another video, then take it on to the next level. I've got some Raspberry Pi if I need to try and use it with that. The only other thing that's in here is there's a mind sensor servo controller, so that allows me to basically control these servos via another brain or the EV3, uh, which is perfect. So that's what's in the box. A uh, lots of stuff in the box. It looks all nicely now made. You know the quality looks good. There's plenty of stuff in there. Uh, as I said, drop me an email or a comment if you'd like to know more. Thank you.